What's going on, folks? I'm making a pair of bullwhips, and they're not a match pair, so I'm just kind of doing this one by itself. But I've got my measuring tape up here. Keep it attached there. That's my notes in the background there. And I'm going to show you some of the ways I plait. So the first way I learned was you push here, grip here, and you pull. And then you bring it around, catch it with this hand, catch your strands, split, grab, and pull. And that is by far the slowest way I know to plait. Uh, the second way that I learned to plait was to reach through, grab, and this is the way that Torrance Fisher does it. Wrap it around your thumb, and then you use that to get your full, full tension. And then you lay your strand. Back up just a little bit. So the way I do it now, because I don't have I don't have those calluses built up here. In my day job, I do a lot of work right here. So I'm going to reach through, grab, wrap it around my hand like you just did, but I wrap around here, and then I pull. And I can get the same amount of tension but with less damage on my hands. And if I'm going to be making a bunch of these weak you know, full time, then I want to make sure that the damage on my hands is uh, minimal. So that's what the back looks like. And that's the front. And if you ever find that you have a, a gap in the back or something like that, just, you know, regularly check your work, make sure you're not gapping. And then take the entire thing and push it up. That's all you got to do. Um, keep your plaiting angle in mind, obviously, you know, like make sure you're above 40 or Below 45 degrees, you want to keep it in the 35 to 45 degree range. And then you just keep going until the plaiting changes, and then you drop a strand. Uh, that's how you do it with paracord, anyway. With leather, you want to make sure that you um, calculate for your strand drops. So as it gets thinner down here, you want to start thinking about that, how your plaiting angle is going to be affected in the future of the whip, and you taper your strands accordingly. But this is a paracord whip, so let's keep talking about that. Uh, Glenn Denham, who makes leather whips, does it this way. So, we've got this strand over here. We're going to grab this one up here, but we want to prepare ourselves. And all we're going to be grabbing is the belly. So, keep these under here. Reach through. Grab. And pull. And then you plait. Now, I'm already set up to grab the next one with this finger right here. But I'm going to set myself up for the next one by reaching through and grabbing my work here. So we've got one, two, three. We're doing under four over four, so one, two, three. And the fourth one will be laid there soon enough. So I'm going to grab it now, pinch here, clear my strands. Shouldn't have to clear my strands, but through, flat. Pull, lay, split, reach, pull, flat, lay. Now we're ready to prime for the next one. And this is by far the fastest way that I know to plait. But I'm not very practiced in it yet. And it kind of keeps your strands up, which I like. And I check my back just to make sure I'm still flat and straight. And I am. So I'm going to give my strands a little scooch here. Make sure they're all in the right spots. So that I've got a nice straight seam going up and down here. It's getting a little wavy there, so I'm going to go back and redo that. But for the purposes of this video, we're going to keep on plaiting. And this is how I generally plait. I grab the entire thing and I just yank it. 
to split, reach, pull, plant. Clear. Split, reach, pull, plant. Clear. Reach, pull, plant. Clear. And then you repeat. And once in a while, give it a scooch. And you can really get moving with it when you're just kind of going. Anywho, I've yammered on long enough. Thanks for watching.